Hi, I'm Mishti Max, and since the new Disney movie, Frozen 2, is coming out soon, I thought I'd play with a bunch of chili colours in blues and purples, and a buttload of rhinestones, to share a lip art inspired by the ever-sparkly Elsa. I quickly sketched an outline on my lips with the Colourpop white pencil, just to give me a guide. I'm dipping into this frosty shade from the Makeup Forever flash palette, and coating that aqua colour around the perimeter of my lips. I'm using a square flat brush to shovel that on. Then I'm sliding over to the NYX lip liner in Purple Rain and scribbling that on the center of my lips to give a frosty tone. I'm tickling that pencil over the border between the purple and the blue, adding a chilly gradient to merge them together. I'm dipping into this wintry sugar pill eyeshadow called Mochi and I'm dusting that over the aqua color like freshly powdered snow to set the cream. I'm fluffing into this other sugar pill eyeshadow called 2AM to bring more opacity to the purple center of the palette. It wasn't quite the color I wanted, so I went into the Urban Decay Electric palette and took a little bit of Urban to splatter over the center. And I fluffed around the edges with more mochi from sugar pill. Now we need to bring some sparkle to the center, so I've gone into the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and picked Amethyst. To add a piercing pop, I dipped my finger into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit and picked up Purple Horseshoe. Then for a glacial glow, I popped into Blue Ice and rubbed that all over the perimeter of the lips. To amp up an icy sheen, I've got a couple of glitters that I'm going to play with. I started by splashing on some prosade to the center of my lips and I'm patting on this purple multichromatic nail art glitter from Born Pretty Store. I'm sloshing on some more prosade around my bottom lip and then pressing on this chilly blue nail art glitter too. It's best to work in sections so the glue doesn't dry. I'm thoroughly covering my lips with this arctic frost. I knocked off any loose flakes with a pointed cotton bud. And then we have this glittery tundra of a blue to purple gradient glitter lip that really does look like you're almost going to succumb to frostbite and hypothermia. This windswept, desolate scene isn't enough and I really need to move on to a crystalline top layer. I used a cotton tip to slap more prosade on my lips and then Scrap Perfect in Belly Jelly helped me trickle on these diamond-shaped purple rhinestones. I'm placing each gem on its head so the pointed butt shoots up and gives a more crystalline spiky surface like craggy icicles stabbing at you from inside a cave. I pressed the points down with the tip of my finger to make sure that they had stuck down securely. I actually bought these diamond-shaped beauties from feather.com.au and they're actually for table settings for weddings or something like that, but of course I stuck them to my lips. For a bit more princess in that frozen look, I grabbed these Swarovski crystal rhinestones and rained them down sporadically through the design. I also crammed a couple of these 2mm crystals within the purple section, really shoving them in there, and then I decided to rip out one of the purple diamonds and put a larger gem right in the center as a crowning piece. I slathered on some more prosade and picked a few more nice spots for the Swarovski crystals. The crystal clear and pinkish tone really complemented the blue and purple of Elsa's colors. And then I went in with these 2mm crisp blue rhinestones from a nail art wheel and let them frolic over the rest of my lips. I didn't have an exact schematic in mind and I just let it go and plopped them down as I went. For this lip art I'm working centrally and then towards the outer edges so it's harder to get a defined line around the lips with all the crystals. But it was how I started because I wanted to get the purple on there first. And I figured this is the best way to make sure everything fits in its rightful place. It helps to work in small sections so the glue doesn't dry by the time you want to plop a rhinestone on there. I did end up going over the glue a number of times, but that's not a problem. At the polar caps towards the top, I was losing the pointed shape to my cupid's bow. So I went in with a couple of much smaller 1mm blue rhinestones to keep a sharp stalagmite style point. As I said, I had a main idea for this design, but allowed the crystals to decide where they wanted to stay, dropping a few extra snowflakes of Swarovski crystals around the blue areas. If you don't like where anything is, you can just grab a pair of tweezers and pluck that stone right off, and then just make sure you fix up the underlayer with some more glitter before you slap on the rhinestones on top. 
I added an avalanche of extra purple glitz over the central purple diamonds. It's easy to just spill on some more prosade on top of the gems and then tap on glitter over the top. This adds a few more points of light colour on the centre because I was worried that was looking a little too dark. And this is inspired by a Disney movie after all. And I'm done with trickling this frigid sleet all over my lips. As it may be obvious, I took inspiration from Elsa's dress, makeup, and her icy powers to complete this frigid lip art. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sparkle tastic snowy display on my lips. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you want to send me a letter or something, I have my PO box in the description box.